guys on Dave Days and Eric TV365 is awesome and super rad. Thank Please you. subscribe to him. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children and parents, dogs and cats. It's time to do the drawing for day number one, which was Easter. There are a lot of entries. You see this middle column here? That was someone who decided to spam Twitter. But, keeping with my rules, I'm going to allow it because I said they could enter as many times as they wanted as long as they did that through Twitter. On the comments for the video, they only had to leave one comment and that would get an entry. But, this person decided to uh, give me a lot of a uh, pub, I guess you'd say, on Twitter. I'm sure a lot of his uh, followers weren't too pleased with it, but hey, I gotta stick by my word and I said that they could have as many entries as they wanted. But there still is the luck of the draw, and they might just end up not winning, and somebody else might win. So good luck to you all, and it's time to do the drawing. All right, you ready? We good one? We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, buddy, so this is for the contest. Are you ready to, to pull a name out? You can't look. You got you to gotta look up at the ceiling and stick your hand in here, and you got to pull one thing out, okay? I got an idea for tomorrow or the next time Jay Zilla does this. Make sure you stay looking up at the ceiling. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know. Alright, just one piece of paper. Move around, make sure you find a good one. Alright, guys, and he's pulling it off. Dylan on a... Dylan a week. Dylan a week. Congratulations. You are the first winner. And the hot wife said, you're awesome, I think. <laughs> sure. What'd you say, honey? I said congratulations. Alright. Here we go, let's see if you can see it. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but uh, I'll come in slowly. Dylan, a week. You are the grand champion of the day. This is for the Easter Day drawing, so one copy is gone. We have three more copies, and hopefully somebody else will win now, because Dylan, you can't, you can't win anymore. You only get one copy. So little Zilla thinks he's hiding from me. I know I've showed you guys this before, but it's pretty funny. There he is, we found him. Oh, no, wait. Where'd he go? Can you guys see him? I don't know where he went. He's like totally hidden. There he is, we found him. Oh wait, nope, no, nope, he's hiding. Little Zilla. <laughs> oh, wait, there he is. Where's little Zilla at? We found you. The vlogs this week are gonna be short, sweet, to the point. And here's where you're, we're gonna do the blah, blah, blah. That wasn't to the point, that's uh, it's a busy week. We're having to prepare for Little Zilla's birthday party stuff this weekend. Um, he's turning the big 21. Uh, he's already uh, got a new car and everything. No, just kidding. He's turning the two. And uh, we're cleaning the house a lot. Actually, the hot wife's doing a lot of cleaning. I'm trying to help out and keep the kids out of her way when I'm at home. Today I had to work late. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a busy week, guys. So I'm gonna we'll try to get you some good footage, and if we don't get you good footage, hey, you're still getting some video, aren't you? The hot wife went grocery shopping today. As you can see, the fridge is loaded up. We have all this yummy food in here. And look, she even picked up one of these things there. Oh my goodness. Hi. You guys wish you could pick one of those up at the grocery store, don't you? Sorry. It's not cheap. And there was a few of you guys that were asking me, what did the hot wife do to make these awesome little guys? Well, she handcrafted each and every single one of them so that they all turned out looking exactly the same. Right, honey? Of course, because I got time to do that. Alright, well, what'd you do, honey? Just used the mold <laughs> and melted some chocolate. Did you put food coloring in it or anything? No. If you buy the chocolate from Michael's, they have several different colors. Oh, I was thinking she put food coloring in See, I learned something even. So she got chocolate at Michael's that was already colored yellow. They and that, and, and they sell the molds. So you just melt it, pour the molds, and then stick it in the freezer for about six minutes to harden. Very and difficult, and make sure that you have plenty of time because it's going to take you a couple hours probably to get all this done, guys. Well, it took me a couple of hours because I bought way too much chocolate. <laughs> yeah, she she basically like, filled this thing up. I, think I made like forty-eight ducks or something. All right, what'd you do for the cake? We had people asking about that, honey. Yeah. A lot more. <laughs> Alright, well you gotta just do a quick explanation. Okay. You take two round cake pans. Gotcha. Check. You bake 
just a regular cake mix into two. You split it in half, make two different ones. Check. And then you put one on the bottom, put frosting on top. The second one you cut a hole in the middle and then put that on top. Hold on, hold on. She also had to level the cakes too. Okay, you can't just put them on top of each other because then there's gonna be a gap right. in between them. So you, you gotta level, level the cakes. Fast. Okay, okay, okay. I helped. Okay, 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 okay. I helped them. Okay, go. Okay, so then you do the basket weave pattern around with the icing. Then, right. Check. And then you dye some coconut with two drops of green food coloring mm -hmm. and a little bit of water. Mix it up. Dye the coconut. Put it on top to make it look like grass. Check. Then you add whatever you want. Candy. Check. Show them how you did the basket wave. Give them a pattern here. Here. And then you go across. Put another line of icing here. And you go across. It's kind of like a brick pattern. So that's all you do right there so to make the, the basket wave. So you just have to have the right tip on the, on the, what's that thing called? Did you squeeze? <laughs> the thing that you squeeze, what's that called? Icing bag? I don't know. The bag full of icing. Okay, the, the bag full of goodness. Check. And then you put whatever candy you want. Check. And then you roll up a piece of tin foil to make the handle. You roll it up tight and then wrap it in ribbon. Tape the ends, stick it in the cake. And, then and bam. And then this is what you have. Well, it looks a lot prettier. <laughs> right there, guys. That's what you get right there. Perfect, huh? And there's that basket weave pattern. Let's see what we're showing you guys. It's right there. Doesn't look good anymore. Uh, it's a little melty. Yeah, Parts of it look okay though. But there you go. That's the basket weave pattern that she was showing you how to do. And there's the, the coconut grass and then whatever candy you want to add on the inside. Awesome job, hot wife. Everybody liked it. And they said you're a really rad, hot wife. Got it. But thanks. <laughs>